continue learning Pirkei Avais, day number 14, where in the first parak, the 15th Mishnah, teaches the Mishnah Shamai Oimer, says Shamai Asei Teiroscha Keva, make Teira Keva. Emar Mat, say a little. Va'asei Harbei and do a lot. Ve'mikavol is kol adam v'sever upon him Yavais, and accept every person with a beautiful, pleasant countenance. So three parts of the Mishnah, Teir Shemi Keva, don't talk but do, and accept everyone, receive upon him, Yafais. So says Rabbi Yoyna, Shami Amr Sidras Chikeva, Kumashamu Bavas Durav Nasan, as we find in Avas Durav Nas, which is in reality very similar to Birke Yavais, but it elaborates a lot more. Kolaisa Teraska Iker Umlachat Tvela. If you make the Torah your Iker, the Torah is your mainstay, the Torah is what your focus is, and the Malacha, which you have to work, we learned all about that in Sharabi Tachan, but that's the Tafel, that's not what you do. Then what's going to happen? Then you will have the same in the next world. If you learn, and maybe you're even Kaveya Yitim, but it's a Tafel, it's auxiliary, and the main thing is your work. Unfortunately, it'll be Return to Lymar explains her being Yaina. Av al Bishlaya Savir, you did nothing wrong. It will, he will be unimportant there. And let's just be clear. Rabbi Yenna did not just talk about time. He didn't just say that one has to learn for many more hours than he works. That's not what he said. One might have to work for many more hours. But what is your ikr? What is the main part of your day? It could be the 20-minute shear. That's the main part of your day. Now you have to work. You have to support your family. You have to do your ashtadlis like we spoke. You have to be the conduit to take care of your family and to provide properly, 100%. But what is the ikr and what is the tafel? What is the mean and what is the auxiliary? When you promise your friend you're going to do something, tell him you'll do a little thing. And do a lot. This is the way of Musar. And Chasidus and piety. Say, take a little bread. And what happened? took butter and meat, milk and veal. And this is a very high level. We learn this from none other than Hakadosh Baruch Hu Himself. Hashem promised the Jewish people with two letters, Dan Anaychi. And what? Ukalam Hashem Hashem Elois. And Hashem redeemed us with 27 words. Shenemar. Oye, and he said, Kim Lavali Kachs, like Gaimer Karva, Gaim Asas, Isim Oisim, the Gaimer. And Marmat, Vasay Arbe. Just like our Kaddish Baruch who gave a little promise, but he did a ton. So too is the way we have to deal with people. Zam Rabbi Nisadi, you're going. Says Rabbi Yehuda, Rav Sadi going teaches him k'shavtiach as avasenu b'shnei oisia is that's why I'm coming east of the flies. If Hashem made a teeny little promise and He did so much al guluda al gula zil lavoi on the eventual redemption shenichva kama dafin v'kama kuntresim v'kama svarim meavtachos. For the next world, for Olam Haba, for Mashiach, there's been so many promises and nevuah and books rain on this. And Yeshaya Navi has consoled us about this. If Hashem's teeny promise resulted in the entire Kriyas Yamsos and Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, this promise, the promise for the Gula Shlema, how much greater it's going to be, even Avshini Yadas Ma'id, as we know. You have to think about this, a place in your heart. And you can have great schar when one has bitachon, when one believes, and this is what's going to happen. Finally, concludes this Mishnah of Mikabal as Kol Adam, Besever Panim Yafais. Says Rabbi Yaina, Sharlem Panishal Simcha, you show someone else a beautiful and happy face. 
כדי שתהיה רוח הבריאה חויס נויך אימנו. Why? So other people should be happy with you. רצוי נוי מר, what does that mean? שישרח איג ממידס הכעס. We have to repeat those words again and again ourselves. Be distanced from kashi mido ro'o ad ma'oid. Again, words of Arisha and Rabbi Nuyayna. Kas is a mido, an evil, terrible mido. V'yinig atza midas ha'rotzayin. And rather act with a beautiful way, with a pleasing. Al-dera shi'a merutzim enem ne'yad. The people should be pleased by you. V'zui mido no'o em likubelos. That is the trait that is accepted and pleasant. V'alzabra chachme ha'moser and the chachme ha'moser have taught us. You want people to desire you, meaning, which is of course, which is of course, which is of course the greatest need. What is our greatest need? To be accepted, to be liked. What should you do? Desire what you don't desire. What does that mean? You can never have a situation that people are going to like you. If you do not get over, if you do not overlook your own personal self for others. And you overlook your own desires, own objects for their objects. For your rats, if they retain them for their rats. Then you can have many loved friends. And you'll be saved from any damage. If you show so an angry face, they'll hate you and they'll try to damage you. But the opposite. So, what's the critical ingredient? What more do we want? And to be accepted, to be wanted in a real way, not in a social media likes, uh, posts, uh, clicks way, but in a real, deep, meaningful connection with people. How do we get there? By being Mavra Amidaisav, worrying more about them than yourself, being nice to them, worrying more about their objects than your objects. And when people say, hey, that guy really likes me, he's worried more about myself than himself, he's willing to overgo what he needs from me, then it creates a real ava, a real friendship, a real love, all coming from the Savior upon him, Yafa, is that beautiful smile, that beautiful desire that you did for someone else. We'll pick it up for the next mission, the next year. V'siyata dishmayo.